Today there are over 8 billion humans living on our planet. However, if we had looked at the world between 800,000 and 900,000 years ago, the picture would have been shockingly different. New scientific findings shed new light on our ancestors and point to an important human speciation event. Indeed, scientists are only now shedding light on a previously unknown period in human evolutionary history. According to a new study, early humans known as Homo erectus nearly went extinct less than 1 million years ago, likely due to extreme ice age conditions. According to genetic evidence, between 813,000 and 930,000 years ago, modern humans' ancestors experienced a severe bottleneck losing approximately 98.7% of their breeding population. Remarkably, our forefathers faced extinction due to a severe population bottleneck that lasted for a heck of a bloody long time. In fact, our ancestors' estimated population size was so small, they would almost certainly have gone extinct if not for sheer determination and dumb luck. A study, titled Genomic Inference of a Severe Human Bottleneck During the Early to Middle Pleistocene Transition, demonstrates this fact. The evidence shows that the human population remaining very small, but stable for more than 100,000 years, also fueled the divergence of modern humans, Neanderthals and the so-called Denisovans. Nevertheless, the history of population size is critical for understanding human evolution. The history of ancient population size during the Pleistocene is notoriously difficult to unravel. To overcome this challenge, scientists developed a fast, infinitesimal time coalescent process, and calculated the composite likelihood for 3,154 current-day human genomic sequences. As stated, the findings revealed that between 930,000 and 813,000 years ago, human ancestors experienced a severe population bottleneck, with an average of only 1,280 breeding individuals. The bottleneck lasted approximately 117,000 years, and nearly wiped out our human ancestors. Significantly, this bottleneck corresponds to a significant chronological gap in the available African and Eurasian fossil record. The researchers used a newly developed coalescent model to predict past human population sizes from over 3,000 modern human genomes. The model detected a reduction in our ancestors' population size from approximately 100,000 to approximately 1,300 individuals. Moreover, the decline appears to have occurred in tandem with major climate change and subsequent speciation events. According to the researchers, this near-extinction experience may have played a significant role in the evolution of modern humans, and their closest known extinct relatives, the big-headed Neanderthals and the mysterious Denisovans. Previous research suggested that modern humans evolved in Africa around 300,000 years ago. Yet, with so few fossils from that time period, much remains unknown about how the human lineage evolved before modern humans. So scientists examined the genomes of over 3,150 modern-day humans from 10 African populations, and 40 non-African populations, to learn more about the period near the evolution of modern humans. Then they created a new analytical tool to estimate the size of the ancestors of modern humans, based on the diversity of genetic sequences found in their descendants. The scientists observed that the population crash coincided with severe cooling, which resulted in the formation of glacier, a drop in ocean surface temperatures, and possibly long droughts in Africa and Eurasia. Scientists are still unsure how this climate change affected humans, because human fossils and artifacts are scarce during this time period, possibly due to the low population. Previous research suggested that the last common ancestor of modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans lived between 765,000 and 550,000 years ago, just after the time of the newly discovered bottleneck. This suggests that the near eradication was possibly linked to the evolution of modern humans' mysterious last common ancestor, the exact identity of which has not been discovered yet. However, if this last common ancestor lived during or shortly after the bottleneck, the bottleneck played a role in dividing ancient human groups into modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. For example, it could have divided humans into tiny separate groups, and over time, the differences between these groups would have become significant enough to separate these survivors into three distinct populations. Furthermore, previous research suggested that two ancient chromosomes fused around 900,000 to 740,000 years ago to form what is now known as chromosome 2 in modern humans. Because this coincides with the bottleneck, the researchers believe the near-eradication of humans may have something to do with this major change in the human genome. 
In fact, scientists reconstructed the evolutionary distances among the great apes, called the family hominidae, using the statistics derived from the algorithm. The findings shed light on fusion formation and offer a novel computational approach for estimating speciation chronology. The end-to-end -end fusion of two ancestral non-human primate chromosomes to form the human chromosome is thought to be responsible for the reduction in chromosome number from 48 in great apes to 46 in modern humans. The presence of inverted telomeric repeats at the fusion site, as well as a block of degenerated satellite sequences that mark the remnants of the ancestral centromere, are genomic signatures of this event, according to scientists. This fusion is thought to have occurred approximately 4.5 million years ago. Scientists created an improved algorithm for detecting and counting locally overrepresented weak to strong substitutions. They estimated the formation time of the fusion site at 0.9 million years ago with a 95% confidence interval of 0.4 to 1.5 million years, by analyzing the enrichment of these substitutions around the fusion site. Because Neanderthals and Denisovans share this fusion, it must have occurred before our lineages split around 800,000 years ago. This new analytical technique could be applied to other genomic data, such as that of Neanderthals and Denisovans, in the future, and could reveal whether they, too, experienced major bottlenecks after the split. In related news, another recent study shows that for at least the last 900,000 years, skin tone has varied greatly among humans. This was the conclusion of a study of genetic variants linked to skin pigmentation in people from various African regions. According to the latest research, some dark skin tones evolved relatively recently from paler genetic variants. There was a genetic variant associated with paler skin, and a variant associated with darker skin for each of the eight sites of variation. At least 270,000 years ago, seven of the paler skin variants appeared, and four of these appeared over 900,000 years ago. According to the new findings, relatively pale skin tone variants predate the appearance of our species, and have persisted in some parts of Africa ever since. However, it is clear that the story of skin pigmentation in sub-Saharan Africa is more complicated than that, as there is significant variation in skin color across the continent today. For instance, the San hunter-gatherer populations of southern Africa have light skin pigmentation, and are one of the oldest branches of the Homo sapiens family tree. The most intriguing finding is that some ancestral light skin alleles are shared by the San and archaic hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, implying a shared, common ancestry for this trait prior to the split of these three hominin lineages around 900,000 years ago. Furthermore, another study published in 2020 found that over 700,000 years ago, Neanderthals and Denisovans interbred with their Eurasian forefathers, members of a superarchaic population, that split from other humans about 2 million years ago. Scientists had no idea about this interbreeding episode, and had no way of estimating the size of the superarchaic population. Scientists investigated how mutations are shared between modern Africans and Europeans, as well as ancient Neanderthals and Denisovans. The sharing pattern implied five episodes of interbreeding, one of which was previously unknown. The newly discovered episode involves interbreeding between a distantly related superarchaic population, which split from all other humans around 2 million years ago, and the ancestors of Neanderthals and Denisovans over 700,000 years ago. Remarkably, the superarchaic population and Neanderthal, Denisovan ancestor populations were more distantly related than any other known interbreeding pair of human populations. In contrast, when modern humans and Neanderthals interbred 50,000 years ago, they had already been separated for approximately 750,000 years. For over a million years, the superarchaic humans and the ancestors of Neanderthals and Denisovans, known as Neandersovans, were separated. Therefore, these findings about the timing of interbreeding in the human lineage indicate how long it takes for reproductive isolation to evolve. Other clues in the ancient genomes were used by the researchers to estimate when the ancient human population split, and their effective population size. They believe the superarchaic humans split into their own species around 2 million years ago. This is consistent with the 1.85 million-year-old human fossil evidence from Eurasia. The researchers also proposed three waves of human migration into Eurasia. The first occurred 2 million years ago, when superarchaic humans migrated into Eurasia and became a large population. Then, around 700,000 years ago, according to researchers, the ancestors of Neanderthals and Denisovans roamed deep into Eurasia and interbred with their superarchaic ancestors. 
Finally, 50,000 years ago, modern humans spread to Eurasia, where they interbred with ancient humans, including the Neanderthals and Denisovans. Please check out these other videos as we continue to explore the mysteries of our past. Until then, remember to embrace the uniqueness of our shared human heritage. Thank you for watching and subscribing.